These are my low carb fire roasted peppers. These are just sweet peppers packed in an avocado oil. Fire roasted peppers in a healthy oil. This is a very easy recipe. The recipe for these fire roasted peppers in oil is below in the comments section with the ingredients and the method and how to make it. I've preheated my grill to a high and what I want to do is take these peppers, I just wash them, clean them, and I'm going to use sweet peppers and I'm just going to char them and I want to char them really well. It's going to take probably about maybe 10 minutes to, to char them, but you want to have them black. If you don't have a grill, you can put them on a baking sheet and you can put it underneath the broiler in the oven. That would do. And I've also done it in a pinch with a, a torch, which works really well. So I'm just going to char these up and turn them, turn them around. Okay, on to the second stage in these fire roasted sweet peppers packed in oil. This took about maybe 10 to 12 minutes to char them really nicely. You want to get them black and then I put them into a bag. You can put them in a paper bag or you can put them in a bowl with the cellophane on top. But I went with a bag this afternoon and um, don't run them underneath water. You just want to peel the skin off. You want to steam them out in the bag. Then you want to pull the skin off on the outside, get all of the char and you can see I got most of it there. And then what you want to do is um, cut them in half, seed them. Don't run them underneath cold water because you're going to take all that roasted flavor away. And I cut them into strips. And you can see that the strips that I cut them into are about like this. And that's what I want to pack into the jar. So I've got a cup of, of vinegar, just plain white vinegar. And one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. And we're going to take the peppers and put them in. We've got one red pepper and two yellow peppers. And we're going to put them into this vinegar salty brine mixture. And something new, because I'm always writing recipes, something new that I did today was I took some garlic, three garlic cloves. And I just roasted them on the grill. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pickle them too. So I just put them in just for extra flavor. I'm just going to massage that around. Simple as that. Now I'm going to cover this up. I'm just going to let this sit in the refrigerator for overnight. Uh, just let the flavors get in there and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so my roasted red peppers went overnight uh, soaking in this uh, salt and vinegar brine. They look really good. They smell good. And we're going to take a clean sterilized mason jar. I've got this one with a handy lid. That's the one that I'm going to use today. First thing we want to do is we want to strain this. Strain all that vinegar brine out. We'll let that drip for a minute. There we go, I let that drip for about two minutes. Now we're going to take the peppers, the roasted red peppers, and just put them into the bottom of your mason jar. You can use any size of jar that you like, but these peppers were quite large. I called for a 500 ml jar, and this one's like a, like two 500 mils, a liter. This is the perfect size for sausages and burgers, and there we go, I've got everything in there. Just wanna pat that down a little bit. And then I'm going to use a, uh, an avocado oil to cover this. So we've got this salty vinegary brine in there and now we're just going to cover this. And no oil gets wasted, even though this stuff's really expensive, it won't get wasted. It'll go on to salads and stuff after you're done with the peppers. There, I like that. That's covered. We're going to seal this up. Now, as for oils, you can do it with a an olive oil, a good olive oil, but it solidifies in the fridge. And uh, same as the uh, coconut oil. Fire roasted peppers and oil. Thanks for watching.